Ministers. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Tuesday, the 23rd of July. This is the day that I do my webinar. It's a webinar, basically what I'm looking at are stocks and sectors that should benefit from this next, from the next few months through this rotation. And I'll go, I'll go through some of it in a moment. But I just want to show you, look at this nice move up. Uh, just using the 914 period moving average as a, as a benchmark. Uh, I've been mentioning to the Dan that this is, uh, so far, the E-mini is acting very really well. These are the levels to look at. And the last thing I typed in was, uh, where did I type it in? Is there anything to see on the way to see? Okay. Um, let's see. Take a look at Nike short time. I will do that. Uh, uh, there. Comment so far, the 5 and 10 minute ESU continue to walk the 914. It needs 56.24 after 10.05, and is right now at 10.07. And where are we? 56.24. Uh, uh, at 25. Good. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Now we're looking at the chance that we've got a two-click session, at least going into early afternoon, because the 10-minute chart is still only in leg B. Uh, having had a really nice move. Okay, let's get on with our show. So it's really important. Let me do this. The Dow's lagging. The Dow's up 66 at 40,481. We haven't added to the Dow. Normally, I would be adding to the Dow. I'd be aggressively adding. I think that I'm going to add to it. I just needed to see what happened today. I wanted some confirmation. I, I In fact, I'm not even a, in a rush. We have two long, long-term positions um, that are really doing extremely well, of course. And uh, at this point, I, we, we have rotated through different sectors. So let me go through these sectors. Look, the Dow is up 80 at 40,496. Walk in the nine period moving average. Just beautiful. Look at that. Um, the weekly chart is still very strong, but that candle from last week, oh, you want to be trading at least for, I'm going to make it for an entire day above 40,000, the halfway marker of this. Gosh, am I going to talk about all of this in 90 minutes? No, I'm not. What I've done is, I've tried to avoid as much as possible my prepared uh, prepared part of the lecture. I usually have 55 to 65 slides to do in 90 minutes. Therefore, there's a lot of talking, a lot of slides showing, a lot of going to live charts, and I mix it in. It's just very comprehensive. I decided this time, I've just done it for 20-something years, I'm, I'm doing something different. I'm going to show some of the uh, techniques I'll show the slide that shows like the MACD and the stochastic and all that. But I'm really looking at chart, chart, chart of chart and discussing them, what we look, what we like, what we want to see, what we are anticipating, and um, how we're going in. So I had said early last week, I said doing the webinar, so that this is not that you wait for Tuesday to get in and then Wednesday everything starts. I said, we are getting into positions now, going because I see things, I see a bottom coming in, at least a trade, tradable bottom for a bounce and a rotational bottom for some sectors that have needed to follow through on a really good rally. And therefore we are putting positions, but yesterday uh, added to certain positions, today we uh, added, we want to, start a position it hasn't come in yet it might not come in we just missed it it's a pity but it doesn't matter it's part of what we're looking at and it's part of this rotation that's really important for this next period so with that said you've got the dow up you've got the s p up a little bit more than the dow Dow's only up 0.11 percent s p is up 0.27 percent up 15 at 55.79 really nice walking in the nine period moving average in the daily very strong in the weekly very strong in the monthly, trying again to tackle that. Irritates me when I see something out of place. There, oh, that's your PD. Always put a plus sign above the Ds. 
and a plus sign above a knee. Um, right, and we've even got a, ch a chance of an instant restart of the monthly chart, which says we should be going. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. I'll talk about it tonight where I can embarrass myself among, amongst friends. I don't want to do that right now. But this is an E with a, ch a chance of an instant restart. It needs to decisively, I prefer to say in July rather than August, power through 56.69.67, the high of six sessions ago. If it does that, wow, that green line and pink line now becomes support instead of resistance levels. Let's go to the QQ. I don't want to get too carried away here. This just calm down, Q, 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 trading very nicely, but not great. Up 37 cents at 482.81. See, this is why I'm, I'm saying rotation. I don't want to go into areas that have already had huge moves. I want to go into areas that are starting the potential for a big move, right? That's the best way to do it. So with that said, stalling is important. Um, breaking down is something that we haven't seen yet. But the QQQ is under 465. They're at 482. That's a long way down. Really start to break down. I don't see that just yet. I just see a rotational correction where the, the out-of-favor stocks just don't do anything and the in-favor stocks take the lead. IWM, the Russell 2000, at the moment, in favor. Very nice move up. It's up $1.27 at 221.58. We added to our position. We did add a, a bit. We took, got taken out. We didn't have to get taken out. I just tightened up the stop, but we've more than made it up right now um, just on the with the add-on. But look at this. I'll talk about it in a moment when I get back to this and the SMHs. Yeah, there was a very strong move yesterday in the SMH, Semiconductor Van Eck ETF. And today it's stalling down at dollar seventy nine. We did get taken out of our socks, our three times uh, short position for really nice gains. I could have kept it. Um, I just said, you know, it's enough. There'll be an opportunity if the semiconductors in the next two weeks rally, a week and a half, I should say, rallies to two sixty one to two sixty three. I'll consider whether or not we go back to the short side because I think they've had a huge move. They're taking a breather. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about tonight. And what's really important about that is that in the context, I'm going to talk about also about what rumors do and what rumors don't do. For instance, there's been a rumor about MJ, that's the alternate harvest, uh, cannabis sector. Remember, I spoke about this sometime uh, about a, eight months ago, at the beginning of the year, I think, about uh, the uh, uh, Kamala Harris had spoken about and, and, and was talking favorably about uh, the cannabis sector, I said, well, the only time you're going to get this to really rally is when the politicians, and especially the lead politicians, talk about it constantly, and you start to get a buildup of other uh, um, enthusiasts. At this point, uh, I don't think it's quite there. I'll be talking about that tonight and what we would do and how we're going to do it. Let's go back to our story here. We want to be looking at the... Uh, did that, did that, did that. Okay, so now we can go to gold. Uh, gold is trading up nine at 2403 a nice a nice move but it's really a basing move and the weekly chart nothing to see yet it's in this big double it's really a triple top with a u-shaped double u w pattern and or rather a large u and it's kind of stalling i, I had a question i'm sorry even me i don't know when this was i don't see the date it might either today or yesterday um, about the gdx so the gdx the gold miners you see this is very different look at this monthly chart of the gold miners. Now, if the market if market stopped here for the month, that would be almost a chamber of inverted Roman candle. It's not. But if the price closes under 36, I say under 36.20, then I'll be talking about it. I'm not right now. I'm saying so, so far it's a good green candle. It went above the resistance and it went above the downtrend inside track resistance level. I'll be back in a moment. We'll continue looking at the GDX. It is important. And I will talk about it as soon as we return. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. This is GDX, which is the Gold Miners ETF. As I said, the monthly chart has broken out, but the month is young. We've still got a whole week to go. Uh, anything? A week to go? Is it more than a week? Yeah, a week to go. Um, and we'll see what happens after this. So um, the weekly chart has gone, I'm calling this an F for now, but there's a chance that um, there could be an alternate count. I don't like to have alternate counts, prefer just to go alphabetically and then change it as we have. Now, I have another rule of thumb that I always talk about, which is if you have a big A, B, C, and that peak C has a long stall, doesn't take out the left side low, but in fact starts another move to the upside, I usually count... Uh, the 26, yeah, 2568 didn't take out 2562 low. Very, very often, in fact, the majority of the time, that D has an instant restart within three bars so that it can have a brand new move to the upside, which goes E slash A, F slash B. But this took four bars. I have a rule, three bars, four bars is not right. It means that this is a sell signal at the D and now a brand new buy and I put an up arrow and a down arrow. But in this case, I'm just leaving it for now saying the 914 is still so strong in the GDX weekly chart. I like it, but the stochastic has not gone to 80% or higher. It's at 76%. But the other three major indices, that's the 914, very strong above uh, price is way above that and the MACD is very strong the on balance volume is mm, kind of weak it's the same as the stochastic so this is a work in progress and so far it is holding very nicely but what I've said and what I'm going to be doing in my webinar is saying within sectors there are certain stocks that are just leading the pack they are the leaders and the others for NVIDIA was like that uh, MicroStrategy there are a couple of areas and others kind of lag. Remember, advanced micro devices and Intel were looking horrible as some of these stock, these uh, um, um, MU, 
uh, micron, but we're going to high all time highs. So that happens. So that's really important. So within that, I just want to see, I know people were speaking about uh, HMY the other day, Harmony Gold. Yeah, you see the big move, it went to a peak E and then an F, HMY is a symbol. How many gold, South African gold? I think I think I, as a teenager, I grew up in a mine, part of the Harmony group. Um, I should know more. My fa my grandfather once had a stone crusher from a mining company. Um, all right. So what we're looking at here is uh, at about just on 11, there's a pullback, and we're now down at 9. That's two points. That's a big move down. I haven't finished the notation in the weekly, but the weekly has got A, B, the C, and then it kind of, well, I've got to go all the way to the bottom. So that's A, B, C, D, E. This could be an F, G. That could be a G slash B, a C, going to a D. Okay, so what we've got here is a leg E in the uh, monthly chart harmony. Is really, that's very strong. But look at the seriousness. You don't see it in the weekly, but you see it in the daily of the pullback. And that's what I'm saying. At any time, a particular stock could be the, the uh, one of the leaders. At $9, it's not a leader. It's just a very good company. Uh, leaders like uh, Newmont Mines, just, you know, huge, huge company. And that is a different kind of a chart altogether. Look, the monthly chart is horrible. It's only in leg B. I shouldn't say horrible. It's been horrible, and it's trying to repair the damage. And now what we're looking at is uh, it's gone to a peak E in the daily, and now it's pulled back very little. And it's a leg D still all the way through the week. And this take, doesn't take out the 49 high. That becomes a peak D, but that's really good. So be selective, and that's what we've tried to do. For instance, um, I usually don't like to talk about this if it pertains just to showing off. If it pertains to a particular uh, technique, that's very different. So let me let it pertain to a technique so it doesn't mean that I'm, show, I'm trying to demonstrate rather than show off uh, one of our positions just because it did what it, it had to do. So I have a technique, and I'll only briefly discuss it tonight because it's already fulfilled all the, all the requirements. Uh, here it is in Microsoft. It's called the Chamway Stork Leg Formation. And the rule of thumb is that it has a leg, a, 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 a narrow body. A, it has to be an oval body, then a neck, and then the beak comes back down and needs to take out the high of the arch, which it did. And then there's usually a very sharp rally, and then you're on your own. Well, we've done everything there. It made a round. Microsoft made a round number 432.00 low. That's almost like the Dow's 00, zero round number at its high, all-time high just recently, and pulled back. So this is the opposite. It's going up, and it's had a very strong rally right to the 9 and 14 period moving average. It's kind of almost done with its its job, and uh, we added, and we've uh, it's done, and we've taken a little bit off from the add-on. We are still long from 338, but it was this pattern I wanted to talk about. And in a sense, it was leading all the way up to the 5th of July at 468.15, it was leading because it was a Dow, S&P, QQQ, XLK, and an AIQ, that's the AI area. It was in all those areas and very important. So it did its job. Now it's had the big move to the upside. What happens next is important. But I was talking about gold. I'm just going to the silver stock that we had, which is CDE. Did exactly the same thing, Chav Wave Stalk Leg Formation. Look what happened. It, it had the long leg. It went to the oval body. Went to the neck, went to a peak C1, C2, double top, pull back sharply. What did it do? It went under the arch high, that's 605. It went to 602 uh, three days ago. And look at this really nice rally. In fact, I'm probably, sh I'm, I'm pretty sure that within the next hour, the bounce that in the rule of the Chem Wave Stork Lake formation, when the beak is completed, the bounce from the beak is done. And now you're on your own. I have to look at new techniques to follow from here on but it had it did exactly what we wanted and that's what i'm saying isn't that a much better chart than the slv look at this yes the slv it's a silver chart uh cde core mining and look here is the silver chart look horrible looks terrible in the daily but the weekly says no what are you talking about the nines over the 14 yeah the price has come back but it's just in a kind of a rectangle if it breaks if the slv breaks under 2550 in the next three days, I'm not even saying the next week, by Friday. That's going to be really poor action. But right now, it seems to be holding okay. So 
in answer, Mimi, in answer to your question, the GDX, um, if you haven't got a position in the GDX, I'm going to suggest that it is in play. I'm not saying it's the fireworks. I'm just saying it's in play. It's had a really big move, probably digesting gains. And watch, if you haven't got in, at 37.26, I just waited a tad. I wouldn't mind buying strength. I don't want to buy weakness because the weakness can continue a little longer, so especially as the dollar. Look, here's the dollar very nicely up, up uh, 22 ticks at 104.51. Not great, but it's good. Actually, I should mention we are along the dollar from 2018 at 90. Uh, let's just go back. So the GDX, if you aren't in it, I'm going to recommend that you just, if you're thinking about it, just nibble. Right here is not perfect, 37.30, but it's right in between a bounce to the 3780s. If it goes higher than that, that's really good. I think it's going to have a tough time right now going higher. But I also see that the 36, I'd say 3670 area should be support. So it's right in the middle. If you want, you can just tiptoe in right now and just follow the so uh, we can talk about it. So within that context, I'm going to go on the Thousand of 37 S&P 115. Basil Chapman, Tiger Conditions Hour. Got a bunch of questions we need to get to. And I will. Oh, uh, Alan T. Alan, you got Triple M. I got something even more important than Triple M. I'll be back in a moment. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archive live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Tigers, it's back. The annual July Tiger Dollar Sale. If you've been wanting to try one of our products, from our stellar newsletters to educative webinars, now is the time. From now until August 1st, we're offering a 20, 30, even a 40% bonus on Tiger Dollar purchases. After being applied to your account, your Tiger Dollars will be used for all purchases. They can be easily transferred and they never expire. If you want to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus from purchasing Tiger Dollars, now is your chance. This is a perfect opportunity to try out a newsletter or save big on your current subscription. This deal is only available until August 1st. So lock in your bonuses fast. Go to TFNN.com today to lock in your bonus. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. 
Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. I, uh, yeah, I should, I should uh, thank uh, some subscribers uh, for just sending me a little note. Uh, uh, one here I've got is, by the way, great call on IWM. Made some nice money on that. So, yeah, this is it's important. And I, I do take, you know, I read a very interesting article in the latest um, Stocks and Commodities magazine. I've been getting this, I, I mean, I don't know, for 30 years. I don't know how many years. Um and I, I usually read it. I use uh, usually not all the articles. I mean, there's some articles that are really so technical. Um, you have to be a techie to be able to get it. And I just find that if my eyes glaze over, it's a waste of time. But the ones that are in English, <laughs> I'm pretty good at. So there's one here that says, uh, where was it? Actually, this is a very this is one of the most interesting stocks and commodities magazine, the August one edition that I've seen in a long time. Now I've had articles that I've written and never sent. I mean, going back 10, 15 years or more, 20 years when I did my, uh, in 2005, when I did my CD book, Introducing the Chamber Way Methodology, soon after that. And I just never sent it. I thought, you know, just, yeah, you get, you know, it's just, I don't know, I just felt I didn't want to do that. I, I use it and everybody uses it and, and we get a lot out of it. But this is a very good one. And there was one article here that said, um, where was it? Oh, I should, I should find it because it was so, it was very, it kind of, it said what I always think and I always talk about, you know, I always say, if you really want to make big money, then all of those buys that we had, Instead of where I say, take a little bit off, just a little bit to reward yourself and part of money management, um, it would be the exact opposite. And I say to you, okay, add more, add more, double up, double up. And you'd have this triangle going up instead of the triangle, the usual triangle, an inverse triangle rather than the regular triangle, thinning out as you go up because it means as you go up, you're not making as much as if you were fully invested, but you're in the game. I want my subscribers to survive. I know too many people that are just, yeah, in fact, even in the den, we get people that are there and then whoosh, they're gone. They do, you can tell they're doing the wrong thing. They're getting, they're not having, there's no method, methodolo methodology there. I mean, for instance, Tom O'Brien is doing a, a web, I'm doing my webinar tonight. Uh, Larry's doing his uh, all-day webinar, his early morning webinar on Friday. This I believe this is coming Friday, yeah. I mean, they fabulous. He's got a methodology and he sticks to it. Tom O'Brien, methodology, sticks to it. And you learn from that and then they produce the goods. So um, in this particular article, they talk about the exact opposite. Uh, I'll try to find it. There's no real rush to, to find it. Um Portfolio optimization. Yeah, it was so interesting. Oh, there are hidden costs to taking partial profits that most traders don't realize. And yeah, I'll just maybe you see this. I don't know if Al will show the chart right here. Can I see it? Um, there's a chart, and the chart sh shows what happens if you take a little bit off and it keeps going higher, and what happens if you don't. And you can see the one on the top is fabulous. But if you make a mistake, or if you got that full position, and we've we've seen, we just saw it here with um, Harmony. Look at that fantastic move to the upside, and look what happened. Look what happened to Nvidia for those people that where did I type Nvidia? Uh, people who had the move all the way to the top and never took anything off. Yeah, fantastic. But wow, when it, look at hundred, if all those people buying for the last month, month twenty fourth, yep, it's a month. Um, you're now in a losing position. And if you keep holding it, that losing position can accelerate. So I like to have money management. If I personally don't do it sometimes, that's my business. But I want it for subscribers because it's a responsibility. So I did that. And now I'm going to put this away. And we're going to go back to the questions. So there's a question. So there's another question. Is there a bigger pullback about to happen? 
And my answer is, I'll get to that and I'll talk about it as I talk about it in my webinar tonight. Tomorrow I'll have a clearer picture because I need to see the close today because it's so important. If there is follow through in the Russell 2000, if there is uh, less action on the upside in the semiconductors, if the Dow is okay, but it doesn't really do very much here, but we don't break down, that's going to be really important. That's number one. Number two is, just let me see, I had a question I want to get to. There's always the same question, but I think I'll try to get to it. Uh, I did that. Uh, we've got, is that the 27th? Okay, oh gosh. All right, I don't know where it went to. I thought it was, for me, it isn't. Okay, so uh, a question then uh, that I had is, if there is a rotation, where will we go? And how long could it last? Well, the answer is, the action that we're seeing today is going to be very responsive to the pullback that just occurred and the anxiety that those symbols that pull back feel in wanting to get back to where they were on the upside. If they can't do that, it says to me, step aside from that area, even if it's a great area. Right now it isn't, and that's really what I want to uh, I want to do. So there's a question, I'll go backwards since I can see it right here. Peaky wanted to know about GBTC. GBTC, I've had a couple of people uh, who have gotten to GBTC beautifully. This is Bitcoin Investment Trust. I had the signal, I just was so busy with other things that I didn't actually uh, go to the buy side in the GBTC when the nine period moving average crossed, trading at 59.63. It has gone to a peak D. Uh, if there's no new high today. Underneath the previous high in the 64 area back in June, I don't like that, but I do see the technicals as being strong. So it means, yep, we're still in this buy mode. So I like it. And the nine period moving average in the weekly went back to positive. So I suspect that it's going to test this trend line to the downside, and that goes to the 62.34 level. It's at 59.71. Let's just go one step at a time. Support is in the 57.80 to 56.60 area on the short term. That's a daily chart. And uh, the resistance at 60, oh, I, I'd even put it at 61.13, just, just over 61. That's the resistance that has to be taken out. Monthly chart says it will go to D above 65.81, and that's really good. Let's go on CLSK. Oh, is this the same? Oh, a twofer, huh? Well, I'll do that. Okay, CLSK. How's your tennis? Um, all right. Yeah, this is in this Clean Spark Inc. data centers run on low carbon power support Bitcoin. It's got all those sexy things that you would like to see. Oh, wow. I'm flying there. Um, I think it's okay. I think it's in a trading band. It's trading at 18.95. Let me just, because you look at the longer term, if at any point on a daily basis it closes under 21.30, it's going to push towards 25 in this period. Right now, it's just stuck in a trading band. I'll be back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, 
You don't have to worry about that. As Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Yeah, I'm pleased your tennis game is going well and your serve and volley are good. I, uh, my first service, oh, I used to love it. And I just, uh, it hasn't been there for the last uh, two, three weeks. I'm not getting, I, I made no, very few double faults. But that wasn't the point. Point was, it was really nice to have that first service. I, I'll, maybe I'll get it back. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> okay. In the meantime, so here's uh, Hems and Hers personal health care. Just stuck in a range at 21.46, uh, going sideways, digesting huge gains. So here we go. Um, I wanted to do this. I'd written it all down. Yeah. So the XLF. Has had a nice bounce. It's had a really good rally from the, the 40 area to 44.11, most recent high. And now it's just kind of stalling. And that's going to be important to monitor because we want to see, and this is what I'm really talking about in my webinar. For those of you who are interested in a diverse portfolio, that's kind of what I'm looking at here. Um, what's working besides the, um, the tech sector? And even the IBB, look, here's the IBB. Uh, it's doing quite nicely. Finally, it's gone on, on the right track, but it was stalling for quite a while. It almost looks like the, um, uh, it almost looks like the, make this an F slash B. Uh, in the daily chart, it almost looked like the uh, IWM. And now look at it. It's doing very, very well. So, yeah, we've got to look at this and see what's going on. And I'm going to have a bunch of stocks. That, and that's why this is an ongoing thing. So I'm going to set everything up today. We, we missed just by a couple of cents one of the areas I want you to get in. It was going to be a split, and usually with a split, I said, let's just get in, even if I'm overpaying now, because the, the, the second part will be quite a bit lower down. In this day, in this case, I really would want you to have a little bit of a pullback, because if I got the pullback and then it ran it, I had a better cushion. Now it's going to make it a little tough, but we, we are going to get into this particular position. So with that said, uh, if you look, uh, for instance, I think uh, Bank of America has a spectacular move and now it's digesting gains. Look at this. Bank of America makes a peak D, maybe a peak D this week in the uh, uh, weekly chart. 44.44 was the high peak F in the day. I think it's going to take a rest. But within the this, this sector of the financials, there are a bunch of things that are popping up that are looking quite good. And that's what we want. Now, the thing I want to do and I love doing is if there's something that acts really well and it's $180 or $320 or $450, if I can find the pattern in the same sector that of a stock that's trading in the double digits, low double digits, single uh, teens, or even better, single digits, and sometimes they do that, I'll go for the single digit. It means that we've got more money to put elsewhere and we can get the same bank for the buck with even a better percentage if you go for the same 
type of issue, but a much more, much lower cost. And that's what I'll be talking about tonight as well. And there's no rush. Uh, we have started implementing our buys, but at the same time, I'm just saying to you, this is a work in progress. It has to unfold. I want to prefer to unfold over a period of days. Well, hopefully uh, it'll then be weeks, but starting off with days where we're able to enter. Look, even today, look, you didn't expect it to happen once you started breaking to the upside, and then all of a sudden what happens is you get a peak D in the one-minute chart, a peak E in the five-minute chart, but only a C in the 10-minute chart, and you have to look at the sharp pullback we've just had going from the high of the day, uh, 56.26 area, and now we're at 56.12. That's a 15-point decline. Very quick. Look at that. So these are techniques that I want you to discuss and what we are looking to buy. So as I say, you'll be you'll you'll get the discounted price because they've got the Tiger Dollars fabulous deal going on. You'll get my service. You can try it out for even then. You can still try it out if you're a new subscriber for um, for a month. And then before the month's over, if you don't like it, you just say, ah, done. And in that time, you'll get my newsletter, you'll get my daily call, but that's my, my, here it is, my, where did it go? My, nope, not that. Oh, did I just take it off? Nah. Yes, I did. Did I get rid of it? That was dumb. My daily, my daily uh, chart of the Dow, what we're expecting, what to look for, plus my trader's corner. And you can go to the webinars, all that archived webinars. And this will be archived. If you can't make it at 4, you can make it tonight or tomorrow. Well, I think it will be by tomorrow. It will be archived. And then you can go through it. All right. So with that said, enough publicity there. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, peaky. Um, all right, let's do this. Uh, I want you to go to, yeah, stuff that I'm going to discuss. So I just need to do this to show you that I don't just stay with the uh, the stocks and issues like that. I look at commodities. It's very important. In fact, we have the DBA. We haven't done anything with it lately, but it's holding very nicely. We're in the 13s. It's really at uh, the 26s. It's pulled back. Trading in 24. This is the DBA Group Holster Fund. I think it's an important component of everything that you look at. So here we go. That was, I showed you wheat. And look at this. Yes, soybeans. They're all down the lows. But soybean hit the 200 period moving average in the weekly after the lowercase h went to a lowercase m and then broke one to one to the downside. Now it's ready for at least a bounce and it's up. Uh, 13 at 1,081 and a half. And I think you can get to the 1,106 ish area, and then there could be quite a bit of a, a, a resistance. Look at the uh, corn. Corn is trying to get off. So I think that these um, commodities are trying to get off the ground here. Yeah, that's going to be really important. Uh, let's look at cocoa. CC had a spectacular move. Oh, I lost my notation. Well, it's there. So here we go. Cocoa made a peak F top in the weekly chart. Pullback shop. It's only a peak A in the monthly after spectacular move. Just uh, thousands of points to the upside. And here it's gone. Peak A. Remember, identify the lowest low bar. Merely count each successively higher peak. Is that a peak D where other things can happen? It can go higher. But D or E, F, you've got to be careful. And here we got this huge pullback at peak E. And then it held about two-thirds of the way down. And it's trying to run again. A, B, C could go to a D. So that says if it goes to at 8.357, if we can go to 8.565, that's going to be really good action. Say, so yeah, I'm sideways, but moving to the upside. All right, with that said, a couple of things I want to look at here. Um, IYT. IYT, really strong peak D. And look at that pull. It almost looks like a gold stock, doesn't it? Look at that. Look at that, PD. I haven't got a, a sell signal yet. It's very close because it's only just gone below the 14 period moving average. That's a big pullback. If you look at Jets, which is the uh, US airline index, amazing. Look at that. So if you go to Boeing and you keep saying to yourself, there is such a backlog, how on earth are they going to resolve the backlog if uh, Boeing? can't get out of its own way. It keeps making these horrible mistakes. Oh, if they could only have got GE's chairman. 
GE trading almost at an all-time high. Oh, all uh, oh man, I, I, I can't talk about it. I can only just point to it. GE, which every every day I'd say we should get GE. We haven't still got GE at an all-time high. Unbelievable. If if he could go to Boeing, unbelievable what it could do. Look at this move. Yeah, alone, it's up seven and a half percent at twelve one seventy four point nine. Great. For those of you who have your GEs, that is spectacular. All time high. It was the big news of it. A decade and more. Now it's the big one. It looks like a tech stock. I'll be back. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento Friday, July 12th and Friday, July 26th, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern Time for three hours of live trading. For this month only, use promo code LarryJuly24 at checkout to save $50 on your first month's subscription. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Uh, let me just see if I'm missing anything. No, okay, so the final segment, let me just do this here. Uh, let me just see what my... Uh, okay. Yeah, so okay, let me just do this right now. So in the in the Tiger YouTube, LMT. LMT is uh, Lockheed Martin at an all-time high. I've been speaking about this for some time, saying these are just great. These are great companies. A GDA, a GD was General Dynamics. It was, in fact, the leader. Then it stalled when it made the double top in the three, just under over 300, and that kind of story. So Lockheed Martin has done much better than Ray, Raytheon. Is the uh, is the kind of lagged in a sense? It's not lagging, but between the three of them. So yeah, Lucky Martin, great. So I, I yes, yes, what the type of thing I'm going to do this afternoon? For instance, Triple M, trading at a recovery high right now in the right recovery high area at 104.38. But it had a spin-off called SOLV, uh, Sol Solvent, Solventum. 
uh, Corporation's healthcare spin-off from Triple M. So I look at what happens if good companies or companies that have finally started to turn around doing very well spin off. What happens next? So I'll talk about that. I'll talk about this particular stock, SOLV. It's trading at 55.97, up $1.84 right now, having gapped up. But it once hit. It was up in the 90s when it was an IPO. And then it slumped down to 47. It got cut in half. And now it's attempting to rally. Is it just the, the selling? Is it so steep that it doesn't matter how much it rallies right now? It's going to come back and do the testing. That's what I want to be involved in this afternoon. So I'm looking forward to 4 o'clock this afternoon is the, the start of my webinar for, for subscribers to the opening call, my news, daily newsletter. I, I'm not going to do what I do every weekend for an hour, going through a bunch of things and going through. I'll go through some of our stocks, absolutely. But I'm going to be looking at fresh what is looking good for this next period. What should you either avoid or maybe just don't get too involved in? And that's going to be important. So with that said, let's see where the Dow is right now. It's now down 50. Yep, 55 kind of stalling and that's what we're anticipating and what 